Did you want to record anything tonight? Yes, what? Well, I was thinking, you know, there are a lot of um, superhero films and shows coming out that I know I'm looking forward to. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know about you. Mm -hmm. So do you feel like recording? Can I finish the news? Well, what if I said that we're recording right now? I don't want my friends out there on YouTube playing. It's your good buddy, Fantastic Phil, here, and... Hi. <laughs> my beautiful wife, who has given us that great opening. I didn't even bring my hat up. So I kind of threw you off. Welcome back to the channel. Did you bring that in? Yeah, I oh. just left it downstairs. So as I was saying, there's a lot of films and TV shows that are coming out based on superheroes this summer. Yeah, some have come out already. Mm -hmm. Most of them, I think, have actually come out already. So I wanted to get your impression of them. So, um, so far there's Guardians. And, you know, look, we're not going to the movie theaters. We, you know, I've been saying that for a while. We're waiting for streaming. But um, I'll go piece by piece. What is your thought on the, what we've seen, I guess you could say, just in the trailers and whatnot of the Guardians? And I'll say this too. We've not going to manage to stay spoiler-free so far. I mean... When I, when I can gather, it's not something that I'm excited over. I think that it's going to be interesting to see. But, but but you're not excited? I mean, kind of, sort of. But, like, I'm looking forward to Blue Beetle. Like, that looks well, interesting. Well, we're going to get to that in a minute. But overall, what are you feeling just on Guardians? I don't know. I had, like, mixed feelings about it when I viewed the trailer. So I'm kind of, like, iffy about it. People are saying it is an emotional ending. That's why I'm kind of like, do I really want to see it? You don't want to get hit in the feels is what you're saying. I don't want to be sad. That's the thing. I don't like sad movies. I like uplifting movies. But think of like the... Here's the thing now. There's sad movies and there's sad superhero scenes. You know what? I'm filming in the wrong perspective, so I'm going to go like this. Sorry, people. Two minutes in, two and a half minutes in, and I realized I wasn't holding the camera right. Um... But I could probably fix that, so then you're not going to even know what I'm talking about. Huh. Um, but, like, superhero sad is, like... Is it the same? Like, were you upset at the end of... Oops, there's my hand. Were you upset at the end of um, Endgame, for example? You had a... Yeah. Okay. But that were was you... I, was it so depressing? You're like, oh, I do wish I never saw this movie. Kind of, sort of. I mean... It wasn't really uplifting, no. Well, let me ask a you. A lot of deaths going on. Let me ask you a question: Would you rather have seen a superhero movie with a sad ending or one that was just terrible? No, I want to see something uplifting in the end. That's what I want to see. Well, look, they saved the world and all yeah, of reality. Again, you had so many people sacrifice their lives in the end. Okay, so um, after that, just a couple weeks ago now, Edge of Spider-Verse came out. Or no, uh, was it All Across the Spider-Verse? Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on that? That looks good. Yeah, excited to see that. I don't like the fact that Spider-Man 2099, at least from the way the trailers look, is a villain. Uh, I do like him a lot, but uh, I'm excited to see it still. There's a little bit of controversy with it. I don't know if you've heard about that. No. Um, some people think that Spider Gwen is a analogy for trans people. What? It's because like a speech that she gave. I mean, look, I don't think that's the case. Um, I think it's great if somebody can assign that emotion to it or that feeling to it, but it's like well, it's, I, I don't. I don't know how you get that from that character. I mean, it's a, solilo a soliloquy in the film that kind of matches the, the attitude of it, but to the point where that, and there's like a a poster in the film, it's something that says like trans rights or something. Really? To the point where the Muslim countries around the world will not play the film now. Huh. Okay, so Spider-Verse, you're, you're looking forward to, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, big movie open this weekend, The Flash. What are your thoughts? That I'm a little on. Yeah, me as well. 
Why are you iffy? I don't know. Like, from what I can see, it's not something that sparks my interest, I guess. Is that with Batman? Yes, Michael yeah. Keaton. The only thing I'm excited about is and his appearance and I as Batman, because I liked him as Batman. Yeah, I mean, from what my understanding is, is it is a multiverse movie where the Flash figures out he can tap into the Speed Force to prevent the death of his mother, but it has other consequences. Like, I'm excited to see how they're going to incorporate Batman into the movie and what he his, um, what his, I guess, role is going to be in the movie. Mm-hmm. But other than that, I, I really don't know what they're going to really do with Flash in it. Do you have any thoughts behind the show Kara No. The Supergirl in it? No? Sorry about the bad camera work. I'm not using a tripod right now. Just my hands, which you keep seeing every five seconds. Um, does the um, legal issues surrounding Ezra Miller, does that sour you on the film at all? Or does that give you any feelings about the film? No, I think that's a whole separate matter, to be honest with you. Yeah. A lot of people are saying that they're not going to see it because of him. I mean... Again, I don't really know what the relation is to the movie because they're two separate matters in my mind. But that's just me. So you're in for it, though. To see, you're more curious to see it, not so much because of Ezra Miller, but because of Michael I mean, Keaton. Yeah. So would you say, in your mind, Michael Keaton is better than Ezra? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Kids, if you don't know what we're talking about, Google Better Than Ezra. What was the name of the song? I don't remember. It was Good Living With You. And then look at, I think it was like used in real world two through six at some point. <laughs> like seasons two through six. I could be wrong. Anyway, so Flash just came out. Um, what else is coming? Blue Beetle is coming out in August. Yeah, I'm excited to see. You're excited for that? Why is that? Just because it looks interesting. It's not like you're, from what I can gather at least from the trailer, it's not like your ordinary um, common superhero movie that you've seen, at least. Like, it looks different to me. I don't know. It looks original, you know? I mean, to be honest with you, I, as you may have seen in prior, prior, I, prior episodes, I own the first appearance of this version of the Blue Beetle because he's not the first Blue Beetle. Mm -hmm. Ted Cord is the first one, and that's. Oh, actually, no, there was one before that too. But Ted Cord is the more well-known DC one. Um, I don't know. He never struck me as oh, this is a great character myself. What Blue Beetle? Yeah. It's not necessarily a character I'm talking about. I'm talking about like the whole plot. You don't know the plot, though. We just kind from of... From what I can gather, I just said that from the okay. trailer. Okay, so Blue Beetle, you're excited for. I don't know. I'm kind of... Because what's really kind of turning me off with these superhero movies now is just predictability is actual, you know, factor. Well, you know what? Kind of... I, I have the concern, maybe not as much with Blue Beetle, but definitely with Flash. If you recall, right before... Like, the week before Black Adam came out, Oh, Warner Brothers. Black Adam, I yeah, Warner Brothers went ahead and was like, "Hey, uh, just so you know, Henry Cavill appears to Superman in the post-credit scene," which to me was a big indicator that this is not going to be a good movie because they're telling people the big surprise, and that's what scared me about the Flash commercials as well. Is like, well, why not save Michael Shannon or or Kara zor you know, for when people actually go to see it, unless there are other characters popping up. I can see why they do that, though. Well, in the case of Black Adam, it was because it was terrible. No, it's to create anticipation. It's to create excitement. But a week before the movie comes out, you don't need to create anticipation. But see, that's the thing, though. Like, when Marvel started this whole, you know, ending after the ending things, like, it wasn't like, make sure you stay for the end. It, you know, it created the anticipation for the next film. But you wouldn't, as a movie producer, like, let's say you had someone... Big mm -hmm. playing in a movie, you wouldn't be excited to announce that. To no, because that news will get out 
after the first week, and that will entice people to come out in the second week. But and maybe even people coming out and seeing it again if it's a good film. But that's how you entice people to come to see the movie. I think if you have a good enough movie, people are going to go see it. Right, but it's also who's playing it. Like aren't, you cons- like, aren't you always wondering, oh, who's playing? Who are the actors and actresses? And once you know a big actress is playing in a movie, you're like, ooh, right, but, I want to see that movie. Right, but when I see a movie for the first time, sorry again... Uh, for the camera but when I see a movie for the first time I want to be surprised that's why I stay away as best as I can from spoilers and you've seen I've actually unfollowed uh, look I don't unfollow a whole lot of YouTube channels there have been two gigantic YouTube channels in our community in this past year who I remember one of them I'm not going to say whom in the one single episode he spoiled both Black Adam and I think and Ant-Man and I was like no why would you and this was like days after it came out like look I I, we wait for streaming I know that after a couple weeks people are going to just talk about the stuff online but you know what a few days after it's just kind of irresponsible was it a huge reveal though that would kind of give away the whole movie no but it could have been something nice you know if you were surprised like, to me, in the case of Black Adam, waving the flag of, hey, Henry Cavall's in it, was, we need to get people excited about this movie because it's pretty terrible. I mean, I don't really see it that way, to be honest with you. Again, if you have a huge actor who's playing the movie, you want people to be excited over that. You want oh. to announce that. Cause we could go in circles with this topic. I know, but, but that's my point of view. I don't know. Well, like, that's how I see it. There is another summer... There's another summer of um, superhero property coming out this week. Uh, Disney Plus Secret Invasion. I'm excited for it. Um, you don't know much about the Secret Invasion comic. You know limited information about the Skrulls. Just and what you've I'm seen. not excited at all, I'm sad to say. Why? Because it looks very gloomy. It looks very dark. It looks very much like a masculine movie. It's not something that... It's a series, series. I, well, yeah, series, whatever it is. Mm-hmm. I just don't like that kind of movie where it's just kind of, you know, dark and yeah, I mean, sad. And I'm a little bad. nervous because it's not going to be on the same scroll as Secret Invasion comic just because, and going through those scroll shorts that I've been doing all month long, I've learned that a lot about scroll history and you're really not injecting any of that, from what I can see at least, into this series. Um, but... Um, the premiere was just a couple nights ago, and so far it is the lowest rated Marvel series on the Rotten Tomatoes meter. I can see that. So I don't, I'm just hoping the critics are wrong, or I'm hoping maybe the first two episodes are just bad. Uh, I mean, even looking at the trailer, I'm like, eh, I don't know about this. But it could be exciting. I don't know. So I'm trying to think if there's any other superhero properties coming out this summer. The only other one that I'm aware of, even this year, I don't know if there's anything else coming out. Oh, no, in, in November you have the Marvels coming out. Marvel. Captain Marvel, Ms. Marvel, oh, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Monica Rambeau. Yeah, that's this. What is it? November. Really? Yeah. I thought it was next year. No, November. Oh. Yeah, and then... The, I'm excited. Yeah, I, I, I'm optimistic about that. There was a lot of hate online for the trailer. But wasn't there some sort of rumor that um, that girl... No, no, you're thinking of the actor who plays Kang. And now there's a rumor that the guy who plays No, no, no. I thought it was something with Miss Marvel. No. Oh, I they're taking heard that. up the series or they're not gonna continue with the series. Something is Miss Marvel. Well the series was only slated so at least so far for one season. Oh. But th- that's the case with many Marvel series so that far. That was a good series. Yeah, I enjoyed it too. You know, it, again, it got a lot of, um, it, it was polarizing for a lot of people. So was She-Hulk, but I loved that series yeah. as well. Uh, the ending was a bit interesting. I liked the ending a lot. The ending was weird. And then um, the <laughs> last comic-related film, at least I could think of it off in my head, coming out this year in December, Aquaman 2 is supposed to come out. And um, all the rumors are, is that it is almost unwatchable. Really? Yeah. That first one was 
wasn't bad at all. I didn't care for the first one at all. I liked it. I didn't even know how the time passed. You know, it was three hours long. It didn't really seem like three hours passed. A lot of the plot leaked in court, actually, uh, during the uh, Johnny Heard and uh, Johnny <laughs> trials. Mm -hmm. uh, or, I'm sorry, AH and JD, because I know YouTube freaks out if you say their names. You say A.H. is named three times in a mirror, she pops up behind you. I don't know if you know that. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, no, supposedly her cut, her role was cut back significantly. Um, yeah, no, I know. That and was now, it, from what they've said, and I guess a possible spoiler, I don't know, she dies in the first ten minutes of the film of, from, during childbirth. See, I don't really agree with, you know, because she had this legal matter surrounding her or over her head or whatever that it kind of transformed to her movie career well you know what it is though it's it's the likability because a lot of people watched this trial and have well, strong what feelings what have to do with the other like it well, shouldn't affect her career but it has they have strong feelings about it and they're going to say this is a person who i detest and i'm not going to see this mm. movie and Look, to be honest with you, this is something I think that in, in it's kind of, I think, a newer phenomenon that we're seeing in the wake of the Me Too movement and everything. You had the same thing happen with Kevin Spacey. He can't get work now. See, I don't understand how she's, like, pretty much um, stigmatized for something like that, but yet you, you hear about... Other movie producers, such as, what was that guy, Allen, something Allen. Oh, uh, Woody Allen? Yeah, you hear Woody Allen, and he has so many movies out there still that no one even cares about that they're, it's well, I mean, that's, out in public. Like, that's kind of the hypocrisy. And his crimes are really serious. Like That's kind of the hypocrisy. Well, and let's, let's say this. He's never been, just to protect ourselves, he's never been convicted mm. of anything. Mm. No, no, to protect okay. yeah. you and I. Yeah. From getting sued. Right. We're putting an asterisk. He's never been convicted of anything. Right. But I'm just saying as an example, like you hear so many... Allegedly. Actors, why don't yeah, we say that? We hear a lot of actors and actresses being accused of more serious crimes than that. But then you don't hear <coughs> them being, you know, removed from something. Except I know. for, um, what's that singer? Kanye West's his voice. He'll be back too. Because there's a big portion of... Uh, of the rap community that just don't care about that. Yeah, no, I know, but, but that's a great example. Well, I'll give you an example, though, too. I mean, because Hollywood basically protects what they want to protect. Look at Roman Polanski. That's a perfect mm -hmm. example. Yeah. But um, we're getting a little far off the tracks. But I'm just saying so, an example. I, I think... That's no, I understand. Not fair. That's well, what I'm trying to point out. Okay. I agree, but, I mean, I'll be honest with you. I'm not rushing to see an AH movie myself. And, look... A lot of people feel it's just kind of an afterthought as well because Momoa is no longer going to be Aquaman. Right. The theory is that uh, in the new DC movie universe, he's going to be Lobo. That's the mm -hmm. theory because yeah. he is excited about something, but they haven't announced anything yet. I like the first one. I liked how you know he was performing in the first. I liked her too in it. To be honest with you. I, I just didn't care for the film in general. Black I, Mana, maybe, but... Yeah. I thought the effects were great. I thought the movie was great. Mm. I enjoyed it. I don't know. Well, we're a little... We're getting a little far off, but... I, I think you're pretty much said it overall. What is, uh, for this year, the superhero film or series that you're looking forward to the most? Just one? Just one. I would say... It's a toss-up between Spider-Verse and Blue Beetle. Oh, I thought you were sold 100% on Blue Beetle. I was, but Spider-Verse is also something that I'm hmm. looking forward to as well. Um, I have to say, of all of them, I'm looking forward, I think, to... I'm going to say Guardians the most. Really? Yeah. That shocks me. I thought you would have said Spider-Verse again. And notice I didn't say Penguin. I think that got pushed back to next year. So we'll talk about that next year. Okay. With the, the series. Oh, yeah. okay. So, um, any comments for anybody? Any parting words? Thank you for watching. Have a great night. Peace, loving comics.